out here taking a break today from my little walk. Little Enox cooling off a little bit. Just gave him some water. Beautiful day out here today. I encourage you all to stay on the narrow path just like this pathway. It's here in the, in the picture. You know, there are many still trying to give dates for the rapture. And, uh, even though if, if it were to occur on a feast day, Pentecost would likely be the one, but even so, we're not to set dates. And I know some are just saying it may be on Pentecost, it's alright to say that, but there also are some that saying it definitely is. And at least for this year, Although it's possible, I, I do not feel that's going to happen in my spirit. But I wanted to share this with you all because what happens when people set dates and it doesn't happen is especially to those that are young in the faith, it discourages them. And some of them, it, it could even cause them to walk away from the faith. And also there are some that saying it's on the Feast of Trumpets and... Uh, a new one I heard recently was on uh, Yom Kippur. I haven't heard that one before, but uh, all of these fall feasts, to me, are uh, tied to the second coming, not to the rapture. I don't believe they have anything to do with the rapture. But they very well likely do have to do with the second coming. Two complete separate events. Some try to link them together, but they are separate events. The rapture is imminent and can happen at any time. There are no signs which must precede it, whereas in the second coming there are many signs that must precede it. So I just wanted to uh, share this with you all. I know many of you already know to stay away from the date setters, but you know, there's a lot of people listening to them. And one of these videos I watched about the one saying it's going to be on Yom Kippur this year uh, had quite a lot of views. And it's, it's disturbing to see people that are setting dates to get so many views. And I know most of you are aware of that. And, you know, don't pay so much attention to the date setters, but... Again, there are some who do, and it's especially dangerous for those who are new in the faith. We do not know when the Lord is coming. We do know it's getting closer. Each day that goes by is a day closer to His coming for His bride. So let us, in the meantime, just occupy, stay focused on the Lord, keep doing His work. do our best to lead others to Christ, share the love of Christ with others, encourage one another, for He truly is coming, but we do not know exactly when. It could be this year, it may not be this year. It's dangerous even to set a year for such things. Because only the Lord Himself knows when this glorious event will happen. So again, beware of all date setters. And beware of the many false prophets and teachers that are going around today spreading untruths twisting the scriptures to mean what they want them to mean and not what they actually are saying. Stay grounded in the Word of God. And when you're reading the scriptures, ask the Holy Spirit to interpret them for you. For that is what one of the things He is there for, to help us with, is 
is to uh, enlighten us to what the scriptures are actually saying. You know, and in uh, Revelation it says there's a curse on people who try to add or take away from the Word of God and many are doing that today. It's a very serious matter. So God bless you all. May you have a blessed day and uh, happy Pentecost of Shavuot to you all. And until next time, keep looking up.